Hi guys, so I have this uh, Gap RC Sparrow and I've set this up and I've unboxed this and there's a video on unboxing and after this uh, introduction there will be uh, parts on uh, there will be parts on uh, setting up physical setup and also beta flight setup and I also did a short flight indoor uh, test with this quad and it actually flies very well and there's a lot of power with these models and um, it was very smooth very responsive and easy to control so this is actually a very good uh, quadcopter although it's a bit expensive but um, I don't think you will regret buying this um, Cap RC Sparrow but of course there's an alternative like the Fury X140 which is very similar size and less expensive maybe about half the price of this so but anyway in terms of this one this is a really good quad the camera works well it doesn't have a um, better flight OST it has run cam OST you can change settings with this that comes with uh, some kind of uh, like a switch that you can connect here and then you can change the uh, settings on, uh, of the OST but I didn't touch that um, the VTX you can change the um, channel somewhere up here and I'm not touching that I just use my uh, goggles and just uh, search for the uh, correct channel and that's it so yeah and I like this uh, quad I um, will take this out for outdoor test flight someday but in the meantime my first impressions are that this is very good very a lot of power and it's not that hard to set up in terms of better flight setup there's already mode already set up all you need to do is just uh, bind the uh, receiver set the uh, endpoints midpoints and set up the mode and that's all you need and you can you can fly this almost straight away so anyway guys hope you guys like this video please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos remember quadcopter is not rocket science so enjoy the rest of this video see you next time hi guys so this is the gap rc sparrow i'm just showing you my physical setup so i put the uh, props on and um, for all the arms i use jeep tie to tie the uh, esc wires uh, the all the motors wires so at the front i use black zip tie at the back i'm using yellow zip ties this one to help help me with orientation if i fly this line of sight and i'm um, with the um, uh, vtx uh, antenna i use a zip tie to secure it here and then i use another zip tie to secure the top part here and then i just basically run the zip tie around it and I use rubber band to tie this up this is basically to protect the uh, antenna um, and I also don't like the initial setup where the antenna was halfway here and it was flipping around so it's better to have it tied up like this so that when you crash it's protected it won't break so that's my um, setup for the antenna and I'm not using the um, battery strap here I'm just using rubber bands because if I use the battery strap I have to put it through here and if you can see the 4-in-1 ESC is here so if you put the battery strap here if anything if there's any crash and the battery will pull on the strap it may damage the 4-in-1 uh, ESC here so as for the uh, receiver and uh, there's nothing I need to do with the receiver it's already secured down with uh, sticky foam and the antennas are here um, it's, e it's easier or much better for the antenna to be uh, installed here but since it's up here I'm not going to touch that as for the camera you can actually change the angle of the camera but just remember you need to take out the screws the initial camera was secured on this notch so take both of the screws out 
and then you move it down this notch and it's secured and put the battery, uh, the uh, screws back and then you can make the camera angle a little bit less aggressive this one is about 20 degrees so that's fine with me and that's fine for me so that's how I set this up and um, yeah this is a basic setup if you want to protect your quadcopter with this cap RC Sparrow so let me just show you quickly Creating a model for uh, Cape RC Sparrow. So as, as usual, I just copy one of the previous model and just rename it to Cape RC Sparrow. So let's go to the menu, page, just rename it. And then this comes with uh, FR Sky XSR receiver. So I just need to change this to uh, D16. And then no pulses for fail safe and then get ready to buy so now I'm getting this ready to buy um, binding this is um, a bit difficult because the receiver is already stuck down on the um, board here and also the hitch string is a bit thick so I need to take this offline so before I take this offline basically what you do is you just connect press the bind button connect the battery it goes to blind mode and then just press the uh, bind button and then you you bind So I managed to press the button, so this is the binding mode. So I think it's bound. So as you can see, you got ISSI signal. So I need to set it up in the um, better flight because otherwise the people will keep on beeping. I think one of these buttons must be beeping. So I'm going to test the camera. Let's connect the battery.
with A8. So the PC tried to install the driver, but it's not reading, so I need to use Impulse RC driver fixer to fix this. So you can see on the top right hand corner of the uh, Betterfly screen. So just now it was installed. Don't worry about the uh, error. It's already installed. Let me try. So you can see on the top of the screen, it's already installed. So the orientation is not right, so we need to calibrate the accelerometer. Always go to configuration and see. So it's not working fine. So always remember to calibrate the accelerometer because if not, you can't arm the quad later on. So I'm going to enable the expert mode. So I can see more options. So the port is UR3. Let's go to configuration. So I need to install, I do stick short motor stop. So fail safe is drop, it should work. With uh, PIDs, I'm going to leave it as stock from uh, Cape RC. So let's now adjust the uh, receiver. Oh yeah, that was the right switch. So the USB doesn't power on the receiver, I need to connect the uh, battery. The reason why it was beeping because of the arming switch and also the beeper is already on when it's um, in default. So that's why I quickly changed it to off. So now let's go to receiver and uh, do the necessary adjustment. Let's throttle. So that's one thousand, that's fine. Enter, go to next up. 
just case to go up. So this is A, which is row. This is for the midpoint. This for minimum. This one maximum. Okay. Next, go to the next one. E is pitch. Enter, enter, go to minimum. Go to maximum. Let's go to your. Put in the middle. That's fine. Enter. Exit. Enter. Go to minimum. Enter. Go to maximum.
I'm checking the mode switch. That's fine. I'm going to turn up A mode. The version is 3.1.5 The LED strip I'm not touching Since, uh, Uh, it seems that the OST is not on the on beta flight, it's in run cam, so there's nothing I can do with the OST here. So that's it for the setup. So let me try again. Three minutes. And now let me try the power save. Yep, power save works. That's it, that's the end of the uh, setup for uh, GAPA C Sparrow. So if you want to access the OST on the run cam, you just use this cable that's provided and just connect this to this plug here. And that's it, you can do the settings on the run cam OST. So for the props, always remember that the top part here always point inwards on the left. And this one always point inwards on the right hand side when you face the clock like that.